بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Visualization of anterior chamber phenomena Yeah, glazer shock waves, aqueous convection currents, and AC full of debris during the off-label cosmetic plasty to change eye color. Over the last 10 years, waves of people from many countries driven by strong psychogenic drives are being subject to cosmetic photoablative iridoplasty sessions. Their aim is to change the eye color. Udemy Mia Glazer 1064 nanometer and frequency doubled 532 Mia Glazer are used in many international centers to depigment the iris surface melanin. This procedure is an of label one is not approved by the FDA and to our opinion is worthy of being evaluated to assess risks versus psychogenic, cosmetic and social benefits. The functional unit is the shock wave, which disrupts the surface melanin layer if the energy is set to low levels. Higher energy levels will induce collagen fibers damage and sometimes spot hemorrhages. The released melanin debris and many collagen fibers fragments spread and fill the anterior chamber. The video examples show shock waves in different versions. There is an evidence from literature that there is an open communication between the anterior chamber and the systemic circulation called the unconventional uvo vortex pathway. The evidence explains how the macromolecules from the anterior chamber could be transferred into the systemic circulation and the role of plasma limbal vesicles in homeostasis. Injected fluorescein into the anterior chamber of rabbits was traced to flow into the vortex veins. Through this unconventional pathway, the debris in the anterior chamber is being absorbed into the system of circulation. This explains why the interocular pressure stays normal after the sessions. Aqueous convection currents are photographed and shown in the following videos. It is noticed that colder layers of aqueous humor adjacent to the back of the cornea move downwards, and the warmer layers of aqueous adjacent to the iris move upwards. From many videos, we observe that the velocity of currents is higher in the central part of the anterior chamber than the periphery. There are no signs of inflammation or hypersensitivity reactions taking place after the deep pigmentation procedure, which could be explained by the well-known anterior chamber associated immune deviation, a cate. This immune privilege explains why corneal donut crafts are not rejected. <laughs>